what's good it's your girl miracle and i'm back with <coughs> what's up it's your girl miracle and i'm back with another video I've been driving this train years in this lane. There's no stop in this flame cuz I so As you guys can see by the title, this is a mini life update First of all, if you feel like this video is rushed, it's because it is I'm rushing right now Um, I am on break right now. I mm, I have to be back at the school by like 2 33 o'clock and it's 2 30 now and I'm just now deciding to make this video because a lot of you guys have been asking me a lot of questions lately and I didn't want to record in a car. It's hot. I get tired of recording there sometimes. And I have to hold the phone. I'd rather do it right here where I can sit down and actually talk. But if I am rushing, I apologize. So first thing first, um, I moved in on August 31st, 2022. That's when I moved into this apartment. That was one of like my main questions on like Instagram, Snapchat. Y'all been asking me a bunch of stuff. Secondly, um, when I dropped the video two months ago about me doing a job interview it was not for the job that i have now it was for a manager position at mcdonald's well kind of so when i did that video i was working at mcdonald's from whenever that video dropped to the end of august yeah so when i moved here i did not want to keep that same job because the commute was long it was like an hour and 45 minutes and i was pushing it because i have to get back here to come get the kids from school and Blah, 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 blah. So, no, I did not keep my job at McDonald's where I was working at. I know you guys saw a lot of my TikToks. I was making, like, work-related TikToks at McDonald's, and I don't make them anymore, which is, that's because I don't work there anymore. Um, a lot of you were asking me, to, do my kids still go to the same school that they went to when I was staying at the shelter? No, they do not. I should have, like, made a list of these questions because I really don't know them off the top of my head, but... It's fine. Oh, you guys were asking me what happened to me doing an unfurnished apartment tour. So in my last like apartment video, I told you guys my camera is broke on the back. So since my camera uh, cracked, like you can see the cracks on the screen, I did not want to record a video like that, but I also couldn't like stall moving in just to make that video. You know what I'm saying? So you guys will still get an apartment um, tour, but it won't be unfurnished. It will be furnished, but it is what it is. At least you guys get that video hopefully soon um my goal is once i get paid or whatever my first paycheck then i plan on getting it fixed but that is the last thing on my list i'll be honest with you guys so the content that i do put out is mainly what i can do um so a lot of you guys want to know where where am i working at now i'm working at the daycare that my kids go to which i can't disclose what it's called of course and i wouldn't do it anyway but yeah my kids go to the same daycare that i work at it's beneficial for me because you know, it's guaranteed weekends off. My kids are there. It's one stop. It's only like five minutes from my house, literally a mile away. So all that is good for me. So that's where we're getting now. Um, there was something, I'm actually a lead teacher. Um, I'm a lead teacher in the school age room, also the bus driver for the morning and the afternoon route. So KJ, my oldest son, he is actually my student, which is kind of weird. Like it has this, ups and downs like I get to bond with him at the daycare on a like teacher level but also at home I get to bond with him on a mom level but I've noticed like he's gotten very overprotective I can't say much <laughs> on camera but that's all I can really say to you guys is he's gotten really really overprotective but um other than that it's really cool I was nervous to drive the bus because the buses are bigger than me obviously but it's really not that bad I have worked at a daycare before i actually worked at a daycare for like two to three years as a lead school age teacher and as a lead infant teacher so this is nothing new to me it's well it kind of is new because from the time i was 16 till recently i was working for mcdonald's off and on for the last like 10 11 years and then for the daycare i worked there for like a brief two three years and then i took a break and then i've been working in fast food so i'm back in child care after like four years so it's definitely something to get used to but all in all, it's not that bad, especially because I have older kids, so they're more independent. Um, I mean, you know, I don't have to change diapers, make bottles, any of that stuff, but their mouths are <sighs> reckless. <laughs> but um, other than that, it's not so bad. Um, working at the daycare that my kids are at, they have it has its perks as far as, like, I can go check on my kids whenever I want. As far as K-12, 
Kavion, my two year old, I never go like actually put like show my face in there because he's a crybaby. He's very spoiled and he's attached to me. So if he sees me, he's gonna flip out. Travion, I do go visit. I go kiss him, hug him, you know, sneak him snacks out of my bag, all that stuff. But that's because he's older, he's three and he's almost four. So he understands that I'm working. Came in, he's my student. So he sees me all day. And even then he's not like, you know, being a crybaby when he has to go with another teacher or anything like that. He's fine. And then Makai, same thing. He's a baby. He um he actually just turned one a couple days ago. So I don't show my face. I'm more so just peeking peeking there or I might go to the desk and like watch the cameras. But other than that, yeah. Um speaking of that, so when Makai turned one two days ago, I was able to go in his classroom and have um a cupcake with him, which I will enter the clip now. Tuda. <gasps> Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday. So I got to go in there and like have a cupcake with him for his birthday. I brought them in. It's just that I didn't know if I was going to be able to go in there. But I went in there and had that with him. So that was, you know, cool. Um, I do work a split shift. So right now, like I said, I'm on break. I work a few hours in the morning and then I go back like right before I got to go pick up the kids from school and stuff like that. And then I close. So I'm hoping that I can do like a, um, sorry if my voice sounds scratchy, like I'm losing my voice, the one from yelling because of kids. It's like, we have at least 40 kids in the class. There's three teachers, me and two other guys. I won't say their names because I don't know if they want their names in this video. So it's me and two other guys and I'm the lead teacher. They are my assistant teachers and like total it's like 40 kids in there so it's loud in there every day after school they're so rowdy so i do have to raise my voice sometimes to get them to kind of settle down and then also just um being out early in the morning and stuff like that like i've been coughing my voice is like kind of raspy so i apologize i want to do like a day in a life working as a teacher type of vlog but i don't know because I cannot post my kids on here, obviously, for confidential reasons. I have to blur the faces out, the names, all that type of stuff. And I have not mastered how to do that yet. So if you're watching this video and you know how to, um, if you're watching this video and you know how to blur faces out, please hit me up and send me a tutorial so I can do that because I want to drop that kind of content. I think that would be fun. But the only way I'm going to be able to do it and not blur the faces out is if my channel was solely based on child care um content and if i got permission to slip from all the students and all that i'm not doing all that and i'm not starting a whole youtube channel on that so i'm gonna have to blur their faces out or just not record with them or i don't know in some way be very discreet about it so i will figure out a way to do that um but i do plan on doing a vlog like that i do plan on still giving you guys a apartment tour um just bear with me it's not completely furnished but for the most part we have like the main things we're still working on the last bit of pieces like over time i've been getting little by little but for the most part it's done um also in my first like apartment series video or whatever i did put in the comments like a amazon wish list link thingy and then also my cash app in case you guys wanted to get stuff for our apartment or e even if you don't want to get anything off my list, but you personally want to get something, you can DM me. I plan on doing an unboxing if I do get anything. If not, then I won't be doing that. But, um, but yeah, so I'm kind of nervous because lead teacher, though, like, I'm not going to lie. I thought they were going to start me off as, like, an assistant, but then they just kind of threw me in there like, nope, you're going to be a lead. I'm like, cool. But I'm not tripping. That's more money for me. And I had the experience. So it's not like I don't know what I'm doing, you know. But um, I actually got to get ready to go to go back to the daycare. But when I go back to the school, I'm going to give you guys a quick bus tour. Or at least I'm going to try to give you guys a quick bus tour. Empty bus tour because I can't do it with the kids on the bus, obviously. And a classroom tour really quickly. Again, my front camera, guys, is broke. Okay, I mean, it's cracked and I don't. Uh, it's just uh. so I'm gonna have to use the front camera so um bear with me hopefully yeah, when I use the front camera if it's like mirrored like if it's backward hopefully when I edit I can flip it so it just looks like it's how you know what I mean I don't know if that makes sense but I'm gonna try my hardest to show you guys my classroom and the bus when I get back to the daycare 
um and sometime next week i don't know when but sometime next week i will be vlogging the um day in the life type of video i plan on doing the night routines all that type of stuff again i plan on getting back into all of that it's just that um it was so much i could do when i was staying in the shelter so now i'm taking my own place expect content on co on top of content okay 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 um <laughs> anyways let me go ahead and head to the daycare so i can show you guys a really quickly what my uh how do you want to call it my work environment or my work setting ah that's the word let me hurry up and go back to this daycare it's gonna take a few minutes so i can show you guys my work setting that's the word i was looking for um so yeah let go all right guys so as you can see my setting has changed i am back at the daycare hence the classroom behind me um i'm kind of nervous because like other people teachers students they can see me through the window okay so i'm kind of nervous because other people can see me through the windows because they're big glass windows like that when they walk by so they're definitely going to see me talking to my phone i'm not going to get in trouble because i am on the clock but there's no kids here so i'm about to leave in like 20 minutes to go get the kids from school on the bus or whatever but i'm gonna show you guys real quick as a classroom it's not gonna be all fancy because again i don't have a back camera to like show you guys the whole 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 view so just bear with me so this right here is like the kitchen sink not the kitchen sink you know what i meant the sink this is their snack for when they get picked up blah 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 there's some cubbies just walk with me again i am using my front camera so bear with me and hopefully nobody says anything to me. Anyway, so here's like more cubbies. I can't show you guys in the cubbies because of the fact that it is names in them. But yeah, here's the tables. Bathroom, boy bathroom, girl bathroom. There is a kitchen area. I'm not gonna go over there in that corner because that's another class. I don't wanna record them. There's some more toy areas. Um, through that side right there is a gym. Outside is right there. That's where the school ages go play outside. And yeah, this is pretty much my classroom. So nothing too, too, too fancy, but you know, we are split up into three groups. So like one group will be in the gym, one group will be outside and one group will be in here. So this is my class. Okay, so now I'm on the bus getting ready to leave to go get the kids. This is what the front looks like. It's the old bus. This is what the back looks like. Nothing major back there. You know, seats, seat belts. Y'all know what a bus looks like. But this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna go get the kids. Um, and I might talk a little bit more while I'm waiting for them to come outside at the school, but I'm not sure yet. So let me go. That up there is the front of the bus. You get your driver's seat. Of course, you got your radio. Your I have a small mirror so I can see out the back, you know. And then I have that big mirror right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's so I can watch the kids. I got my two blind spot mirrors, all that stuff. So um, I'm at the first school right now. I'm actually just waiting for the kids to come out, but it's going to be like 10 minutes. So I figured I'd work on this video. All right, guys. So that was the end of this video. It was just a quick, like, mini life update you know i didn't go too much into detail right now i will um do a come with me to work and like the apartment tour all that stuff i was just letting you guys know that things have changed and that i did not forget about you guys when it comes to other things that i said i was going to record it's just taking me a little longer but i got you guys i got halloween content coming decorate my classroom all that stuff is coming so just bear with me Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame, cause I.